people. <laughs> Old guy is here out of the kitchen at Taco Bell. And today I decided that I am going to try their new uh, Flamin' Cool Ranch Shell Tacos. But I'm not going to do just that. I'm going to do, I'm going to compare. I've got their regular Flamin' Hot. I've got their Flamin' Hot Supreme, and I'm going to see how well they are, or how good they are, when I put it up against a regular Taco Bell taco. I've got some Diablo sauces to go on them, and I also got the, um, their uh, cinnamon chorizo things which they neglected to put in the bag. Oh no. So I guess um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go and grab my uh, dessert <laughs> and then we'll review this thing. Okay. I got my uh, cinnamon cinnamon twist. Uh, it was because, yeah, one of those things. Not a big deal. I'm just glad that we parked close by. All right. So let's start with the regular taco. There it is, your regular Taco Bell taco. Minimal amount of cheese on there, but uh, oh, hey, it's a Taco Bell taco. All right, got some Diablo sauce. Put that on there. Okay. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> it's your Taco Bell taco. Same, you know, the really thin, crispy shell. <laughs> this time it did, didn't just uh, fall apart. Hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to move along. Hmm. To the to the uh, flame and hot. I'm just trying to decide which one is the regular. There was no marking on the packaging, so I guess it's a crapshoot. Go ahead and throw some Diablo on there. I don't know why it comes with this little box. Unless it falls apart really easy. It might color your hands. It might. Alright, and you can see the color of that. <laughs> Definitely the flaming Cool Ranch color. There we go. The, the shell is definitely thinner. Than, your, than the uh, normal shell. I am getting the the flame and heat flavor. Mm. But it doesn't seem to be very strong once you mix it with the, the, the ground beef and the cheese, the lettuce and all that. And especially if you add some hot sauce to it, you really can't tell much of a difference between this and a regular taco. I do taste it some, but just it's just not as uh, predominant like eating a chip or something. Alright, so last but not least, we'll try the, uh, the Supreme. And they gave me two tacos that were exactly the same. So, <laughs> I guess that'll end the, uh, <laughs> well, it's going to end this segment for right now. I'll be back. Okay, well, 
after a second trip back in to get my order right, they uh, made me a, a Taco Supreme, a flaming Hot Taco Supreme. And you can see the only difference is the sour cream right there. How you can miss that, I don't know, but hey, they managed. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna grab my Diablo sauce. <laughs> a little bit on there and we'll try that supreme and see if it's worth an extra i think 80 cents something like that between the uh regular flaming hot and a flaming hot supreme so 80 cents for a little dollop of sour cream well <laughs> It's good. It adds to the flavor. Mm -hmm. Going all over. <laughs> oh, it is good, but I don't really think <clears throat> it's worth the extra 80 cents to get that little blob of sour cream on it. That's just a personal opinion. Other other folks might think it's you know a perfectly reasonable thing. So so as far as the Doritos Locos Tacos <laughs> with the flaming hot shell, I suppose I'm going to give it a six out of ten. Old man grunts is <laughs> good. It's just not super good. I appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to finish this lunch and have some cinnamon twists. <laughs> In the meantime, y'all take care, and I'll see you next time I'm out of the kitchen.